Yo, what up this planet? And as, as you can see, there's a new team of the week player, and it's Brandon Boykin, a cornerback from the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, he had a sneaky good year. I'm not even going to lie. I watched a lot of Eagles games. I'm a Cowboys fan and a Chargers fan, but I watched a lot of Eagles games, and he had a sneaky good year. Now, when I first seen this card, I kind of got excited because, if you don't know, Kerry Williams and Brandon Boykin are two starting corners for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, Kerry Williams is 6-1, and Brandon Boykin was like five, and like five, ten, five, eleven at the most. So when I seen it, I was like, "Oh, sh oh shoot! They got another tall corner with the good overall." You already know he's going to have speed. You already know he's going to have good man coverage and a pretty good press. So that's what I was thinking. I kind of got him mixed up, and I was really excited for it. But here's what you need for the collection: as Delaney Walker. Delaney Walker is undersized. But he's a great run blocker. And I'm talking about in, in like, real life. I'm not talking about just in, in just in Mutt, but in real life. And then uh, Xavier Rhodes, cornerback from the Vikings, with nice speed and nice zone. This is one of the only cards I've ever seen with a better zone than man. But he has a nice press, too. I mean, these aren't cards that you're going to use on your team unless you have a really budget squad. I mean, I have a budget squad. But <laughs> at the same time, these cards will have no place on my team at all. So... There's much better cards for cheaper prices than you have Marlon Brown, who had a good year for the Ravens. A really good year. That height, that speed, that release. He's like like an Alshon Jeffrey. He, like a poor man's Alshon Jeffrey. So, and Tommy Bohannon, who has a great impact blocking and a great run block strength. As you can see, he's more of a run. He's the help block. He's not going to sit here and catch passes out the backfield like some of these great fullbacks and you know who i'm talking about how it is so that's the collection right now so we're gonna go ahead and go hop on the auction block and see how much these cards are going for exactly so yeah first up we got delaney walker who's going for at the cheapest right now is 12k you already know all these prices are going to drop eventually but he's going for 12k right now and honestly i don't think it's worth picking up i mean you can pick up a corner for 12k elite corner you can pick up probably a Domni awesome if you find it on a good day so let's go ahead and move on to the next one Xavier Rose now this card is going for a crazy price also and you already know all these prices are going to drop pretty fast within the next couple days so just if you really want that Brandon Boykin if you're really good if you're really good <laughs> if you're a really big Eagles fan just hold out for it trust me it's not worth it so let's keep moving on now this Marlon Brown is probably the cheapest card you're gonna find as of right now for this collection. Like I said, in a couple days it's gonna drop. But if you're a really big uh, Ravens fan, I totally understand. But I mean, it's still not worth it. So let's keep moving. And last but not least, it's Tommy Bohannon going for a ridiculous amount. This card might stay up there a little bit. You know how fullbacks really don't uh, lose value. I don't know why, or D tackles don't lose value either, but. I mean, it is what it is. He has nice impact blocking and nice run block strength. But I mean, you can pick up Levante Leach with almost the same exact stats with better blocking for cheaper. <laughs> and he's a better overall. So, all in all, it's better just wait it out and just see if you can get it for a much more discounted price later on in the week, which you already know is going to happen. Look at all the other cards, all the other team in the week cards. It just makes no sense to go ahead and buy all these cards that's going to equal up to almost 60k for 60k think about who you can you get a pat pete for 60k i'm talking about the 98 and it's going to have plus two speed to your whole squad so before i go let me go ahead and shoot you the stats uh 94 speed 97 agility 96 acceleration 85 awareness 81 catching which is nice 95 jumping, 90 stamina, 80 injury. Who cares? <laughs> uh, 95 elusiveness. Let's see. Let's see. 87 spin move, 93 juke. Huh. And let's go ahead and get to the defensive stats. 72 tackle, which is pretty good. That makes me think that he's a run stopper. <laughs> 59 hit power. Uh, oh, only 40 block shedding, which makes me believe he's not a run stopper. Uh, 86 pursuit could be better, but it damn sure could be worse. 92 play rec, 97 zone, 97 man, 93 zone, 
86 press. I thought he was going to have a higher press than that. But hey, Vegas can't be choosing, man. But anyways, y'all, I'm out of here. That was that random point collection, which I'm, I am going to complete later on. Not now. I will never spend that much coins ever. I will never pull packs <laughs> for anything like that. But anyways, I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all. I'll catch y'all probably about two hours from now. <laughs> I got another uh, month gameplay coming up. So I'll see y'all then.